Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time I'm gonna present you my new healing masterpiece. Uh, this is where in the PTS I was able to uh, create something that I wanted to uh, do in the live server, but I have not been lucky to get the pieces that I want so far. But since in the PTS you have the, you know, the freedom of obtaining these pieces pretty easily, I put the build together to see if it was going to work or not and this is the beautiful thing about the PTS where you can test builds prior to the patch dropping um, to know if you is it worth you know spending the time uh, grinding for that build that you know you were theory crafting for a while now I was wanted to have a sister corrosion healing build for the fact that number one I get that this roof resistance is 40%, technically 50 with the 10% of the watch. Okay. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep, 10%. And now with the mods being doubled up uh, on every resistance, now I have, you know, 20% here, 20% on the chest with a total of 90% uh, this roof resistance. And that basically makes me immune to any tier zero uh, disruptors or jammer pulse uh, anybody who throws me a sticky since stick, uh, EMP stick is a meta now and the DZ uh, it only lasts like probably like I think it was like 0.5 seconds or, th or 2 seconds or something like that very 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 uh, uh, low duration and on top of that the survivability that this um, build grants me because of the three blues it's insane once you pop that mech kit you get that sweet armor and I'm gonna show you I'm in love with this build I'm glad I was able to put it together and, and, and test it on DZ as you can see in turn you know in a situation where you need to escape or survive or be on the team uh, on the team healing you can pop that mech kit in uh, in addition to getting that sweet armor you also get that um, benefit of being in invisible like if you were dropping a decoy so it is a very sweet build and then the rest of the pieces I decided to go with uh, Alp Seer uh, that grants me that you know 20% repair skills here I uh, decided to go with the RK piece uh, that grants me in coming repair again in coming repair scales one on one with repair skills but it only benefits yourself it's more like an ego stat but since I don't have safeguard by the way safeguard is trash in PvP um, unless you have like my bulwark healing build where um, regen and you are gaining the armor fast to have a hundred percent. It's cool, but you always get a hidden disease, so you basically it's like not having the talent all the time. So um you need the backpack in order to get that 100 percent bonus armor from the Haxed Protocol talent. Uh that's why you get that uh sweet armor when you prop the instant mech kit. Uh it's very awesome, I love it. You should be able to still heal decently with Kinetic Momentum because Kinetic Momentum grants you 30% once you fully stack uh, for repair skills so you grant 2% up to 15 tanks therefore you get 30% then I have the pistol here which grants me 30% uh, skill repair that's 60 on top of that notice that this is the new name item that is uh, available in the PTS that grants you a skill tier once you have that equipped and not only that, uh, I have the Pestilence again, just in case I need to stack some um, um, Pestilence stick to uh, armor region targets. My main healing uh, skills are, of course, Chem Launcher. It's always Chem Launcher. I have that sweet uh, max uh, mod there. Uh, I have a Mox armor on my Hive in the live server. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, copy over. It is, but I have one on the five percent, but the rest of my pieces are, uh, like I said, the arm, the obsumit, 
With skill, repair skill, repair skills. Skill haste, repair skill, restore resistance of 20%. Then on the holster, I have one with max armor and 20% repair skills. My backpack has repair skills and restore resistance and armor. My gloves have repair skills and I roll that core attribute. And then I have my knee pads with repair skills. Now, this is a 5 tier healing build because most of the time I have the gun out. So, the way this gun works. Oh, okay. When you hold it, you get that extra skill tier. But if I change from gun. Notice that how it decreases the skill tier. So I always make sure you have the the gun at all time. It's not like you're gonna be shooting very often. Only like I said, if I had to like stack some of the uh, stacks for uh, target to have armor region to help my team, as long as I'm comfortable doing it, it's completely fine. But I always make sure you have your gun out. Okay. Um, so that's that. You just that. So I'm gonna go to the DZ. Let me. So I'm gonna show you basically how much I can hold uh, with this build, and this is how I like to, you know, stress my my healing potential with the builds. And based on that, I can have an estimate how it's gonna perform in PvP. Over here, I can go over there. If I'm gonna die, I can just simply put the mech kit, recover, try to shoot when I can to get that 30%. As you can see, I'm very Very resilient there. If I'm gonna die, just put the mech kit. Like you're dead. little like you know demo there show you how how good even I don't have safeguard and I'm still able to kill for a decent amount and recover so that's what I wanted to show up guys so yeah guys that was a little demo there I just definitely gonna build this on the PTS this pistol uh, it is it is a great addition to all uh, for the skill you know, skill player community is it is awesome. Uh, it, it definitely uh, makes us to you know, pick more into armor so we can survive more. Um, three blues are where to go. I can do, I can if I want I can do uh, two blues, but I found the three blues the sweet spot uh, where I can heal well, but I can also survive. Um, had the aspect of survivability. And uh, yeah, very excited guys. Like I said, the benefits and the theory craft behind this build was uh, able to survive uh, in emergency uh, situations when I really need to like armor real quick because you know, remember when you sometimes when you draw the can launcher, uh, you don't get that, that instant, um, you know, recovery. So with the uh, with mech kit, you should be able to first uh, get that bonus armor. Second, get that in invisible uh, trait because of the hack search protocol, so it's like a free decoy. Uh, so you'll be able to uh, recover and escape when you are the last one, the last man standing. Um, I have uh, other builds that I, I've been working on the PTS because PTS, you know, like like I said, it's a very good 
uh, opportunity to craft things that you think they might work, they might not. Um, of course, uh, unless they do drastic changes, but uh, very excited. Like I said, uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, and hopefully I can show you guys some gameplay when I made it in the live servers once they started all the 11 drops. Uh, matter of fact, I can do it now, but at the same time, is uh, I just waiting to see what is gonna be the final changes. So from there, I'll decide if um, is it needs to be a, uh, any adjustments in the build. So I hope you like it, guys. If you have any question, feel free to drop a comment in the section below. Uh, drop that like if you like the build, and I'm sure to be uh, dropping more videos. I have another healing video. That you might be interested in looking at is a two patriot healing build uh, that I did long time ago. I also have a six tier skill uh, dilemma build as well. So hopefully I can just upload those videos so you can you guys can see the building, find it helpful. You can just start grinding for it. So thanks again. You can follow me on Twitch, Gamernesto. I'm always. Uh, at night so if you want to you know interact with me uh during my live streams uh feel free to uh pass by say hi you know and um have a, a fun time so take care guys see you on the next video peace